to begin at the beginning. Now just came as a surprise and um, the Global Underground picked us um, and it's an absolutely amazing feeling. I mean, um, none of us believed it and it's a, it's a miracle come true, totally. This is definitely one of the DJs too, but everybody knows that uh, if you see his name turning up on a website saying Dave Seaman is coming to Lepina, that's something to definitely watch out for. And uh, if there's any possibility not to miss this gig, you know, this is a gig not to be missed. maybe not so well known but it's a real gem real hidden little gem and you know a real jewel, jewel in the crown as well for um, for, for clubbing and Eastern European clubbing and, and uh, anybody who's who's been to one of the exit parties you know uh, Kaunas is they're legendary you know they're really like the, the enthusiasm and the um, uh, it's, it's just inspiring to, to come here and so um, it was a uh, it was pretty much a no-brainer actually you know um, after that it was like yeah this is this is definitely something we could, uh, we could, we could do. Things here in Lithuania are amazing. You can tell, you know, it's a fresh scene. And it always seems, just when you think the world's been exposed to dance music, there'll be another city, another territory, another country that pops up. And, uh, that's what keeps it exciting. Music is a big thing for young Lithuanians, definitely, because you have to remember that uh, we had 50 years of this shit that was Soviet occupation, you know, and, and we had really tough times. And uh, as recently as like 25 years ago, quite a few uh, Western music styles and uh, bands and acts and singers were basically banned from, from national radios and TV stations and everything. So for us, in a way, it's all a bit fresh because. Uh, I mean, 10 years ago we still couldn't dream of, you know, real big international pop DJs coming over to the Fiona to play. So, uh, for young people it's definitely very exciting and I think it's a good thing also in broadening their understanding of dance culture, of music and the uh, thing is, um, if you live in Lithuania at the moment, I think you can honestly say that uh, you have uh, a possibility to experience DJ sets and live performances by the best dance music artists. Also, he's a musician and he understands the importance of how a set should be put together. There's a lot of very good club DJs in the world who can perform in a club exceptionally and rock a crowd and everybody can have a good night, but there's, there's a unique talent that, for me, only a handful of people on the planet can do, which is the ability to be an amazing club DJ, but also go into a studio 
and put an amazing mix CD together because it's a totally different discipline, you know. CD that you're going to appreciate in your car or at home is going to be different to something you'll appreciate when you've had a few drinks and it's five o'clock in the morning in Tokyo, you know. transcend cultures and um, and language barriers and everything and he could, he could feasibly get up to all corners of the world and he's just he's, he's doing so. Those who were here in Lithuania, everyone went, everyone came and uh, it was a very special night. Everyone was waiting for it and the buzz was going around for quite some time. And, and you know, it, until the very last moment, until the very last moment, right before the night, it seemed to be, it seemed to be unbelievable, it's actually going to happen. And yeah, when, when they came into the club, and it was obvious, it is happening. I mean, there was something special there, absolutely amazing.